Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So it's been a while since I've done like I get ready with me so I thought let's do it. I suppose I'm just gonna give you like a little update on uni and my life and everything while I do it but I've also got some new makeup stuff so I'm gonna be doing like I guess first impressions although I have tested them already. So yeah let's just get into this because I do actually have to go somewhere. I, actually, I managed to get up at half ten today. I recently bought all those stuff from Morphe. See, this is what I do when I'm stressed out, I spend all my money, so I've got no money left, but I've got this Priming Beauty Oil by Morphe. Like, I don't know if this actually does anything, but what I do know is that it stings. I've just, I'm, I need to like calm down because I just put way too much of everything on. I can't smell it now. I swear to God, when I put it on the first time, it smelled like spicy. <laughs> Oh, there it is. Woo, it's so strange. Oh my god, look at my hair. Okay, so my current dilemma at the moment is that I think I'm going to be moving out of my accommodation and going back to my mum's house because I just hate it here. Like, honestly, just hate it. When I was applying for uni, everyone was like, oh, look what I got. Ha, how are you? <laughs> no, but I, I got a mirror and I'm happy about it. But anyway. Oh yeah, everybody was saying, like, yes, you need to move out or else you won't make any friends and you'll be sad at home. And I was like, fair, okay, that, that's a fair enough. That's fair enough, we'll go with that. But I've not made any friends. I don't particularly, I mean, I like some of the people I live with, but not, we're not friends. So yeah, I just feel like I'm not getting any of the benefits. Oh, this is um, Jeffree Star's concealer as well. I did get it. It's, as you can see, too light for me. So I like mix it with the Revlon candid concealer because that one's a slight tad bit too dark for me so it evens out but yeah i just don't really want to live here anymore because it literally just stresses me out and as much as i love this room because i am i'm gonna be having to film some videos before i leave because i don't know it's a nice little place to film especially because i have this window as lighting but it, it's just i've been sad here most of the time so it's not like i'm gonna be like crying when i leave so I just think I should go home. My mom and my sister were like, oh, but you won't go in if you're at home because you'll be so far away. And I'm like, I don't go in anyway, come on. Oh God, what triggered me <laughs> was yesterday. I, right, first fact, I don't spend a lot of time here. And when I do spend time here, I do not cook. I only get takeaway <laughs> or I'm not here and I go somewhere else for tea. Like I don't cook here. I don't use the kitchen is my point. So I go in for the first time in like two weeks to cook myself a spam sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a uh, cleaning lady who comes in I think like twice a week to wipe the surfaces down and stuff so I'm in there and she comes in and I'm just vibing and the kitchen is disgusting I've been complaining about the kitchen since I've like moved in but what is also a fact <laughs> is that I didn't make it disgusting in the sink there's supposed to be two plugs one of them's been missing it's been missing the entire time I've been here I don't know where the fuck it is so she's like ranting at me about how these plugs are gone and I'm like I literally I don't know what you want me to say like I don't know where they are I haven't seen them the entire time I've been here but I will message the group chat for you I will ask and she's like you will have to pay for this and I'm like I won't be paying for fucking anything sweetheart <laughs> I've never said sweetheart in my life I don't know why I just <laughs> like the hoover was full that somebody had just leave it gaping open with the bag leaking the leak cleaning lady was not impressed with this continues to rant at me about how disgusting it is and how like it's basically my fault. At this point, somebody else came in, one of the guys who doesn't speak to me. So yeah, the most I get out of him is, uh, mm. you know, I'll be like, hi, he'll go. Mm. So anyway, he comes in, doesn't say anything. I'm just getting like <laughs> roasted. So anyway, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking go. I'm gonna go eat my spam sandwich in my room and just live my life there. <laughs> my spam sandwich was cold. <laughs> So sad. So yeah, a few minutes pass because she stormed off with the Hoover before I left. So I was like, right, well, hopefully she's not in there. I go back in and she's in there. Okay, so I'm like, I've brought my pots back in. I'm like, I'm gonna wash them. Felt a bit awkward because I was, I was kind of in the way, but I had to do it because I'd come in and I couldn't just come in for no reason. So as I'm washing my pots, she continues to basically lecture me on how dirty the kitchen is. Um, I'm, I'm literally just like, hmm, hmm. Because I've been ranting about the kitchen since I moved in because it is disgusting and I'm not one of the people who are making it messy. I don't know why this is a thing. 
but I thought you know most people are brought up to like clean up after themselves just out of respect for everyone else living there but no they're not yeah so I'm just cleaning my pots and she's ranting about how like me she was saying you like I I made this kitchen a mess and there's diseases going around and I'm gonna get everybody poorly I just it's not me I don't know what you want me to do she was going on like oh you need to clean and Connor literally just went to it we do she didn't care she just kept talking oh this is sorry this is like a sidetrack ah, from the this is jeffree star's powder and honestly this is fucking amazing i've got it in fair it smells so good it smells like breakfast i think it's golden syrup because i couldn't tell what it was and i was like this is amazing and i just gave it mum when she had golden syrup bitch so yeah it's really good and it properly smooths out everything it just it's really good and then right so this guy that came in he's sat at the table eating his lunch or breakfast or whatever the, i can't even remember what time it was and she goes to me this poor lad is eating his tea in a mess the table's disgusting and he has to eat his tea on it as if it's my fault and i was just like i'm going that made me really angry as you can imagine because i don't get why i'm being blamed because she didn't have a go at this guy he's just sat there and she's just having a go at me so anyway, I messaged the group chat. I was like, can everybody just please look after the fucking kitchen? Because I don't get why I have to get shouted at because they can't look after their shit. But anyway, so obviously I'm, I'm a bit upset because like I said, I'm being blamed for shit that's literally not my fault. And my period's coming in. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm just a bit sensitive. <laughs> Later on that night, I put the Greatest Showman songs on. I'm prancing around my room. Mind you, I didn't think this, but I had this on. A face mask on and this creeper blanket wrapped around me and i answer the door because someone knocks on mid song anyway we're gonna take this off because i look like a psycho and he holds a whisk in my face and says so i've just found my whisk and it has a blue hair on it and i'm like <sighs> i did not use your i didn't use your whisk he was he was dead nice about it i, I i'm not he's one of the ones that i like he's nice but now he thinks i'm an asshole because I, he didn't believe me i know for a fact he didn't believe me probably didn't help that i looked like a fucking psychopath at the door like he was like what's this about and i thought i forgot i didn't i didn't know i had devil horns and a creeper blanket on i was just like oh i've got a face mask on he's like that doesn't answer my fucking question but anyway so he knocks on and he's like yeah i think you've been using my whisk and i'm like bitch in the past two weeks i have made a spam sandwich explain to me where that needs a whisk didn't say this to them i was just like i swear to god i have not used your fucking whisk so yeah somebody's trying to frame me <laughs> clearly i don't even know where he found his whisk i don't know if he found it like down the side of like, god knows anyway then i started crying again because not in front of him obviously i was just like and then i just went and i was like <laughs> because i'm just i don't like being blamed for shit that i've not done and i feel like yesterday i was just blamed for everything that i've been complaining about at the moment we've got a thief basically in our dorm who's like stealing people's food and using their shit and like just leaving it on the side so obviously now everyone thinks it's me which it's fucking not because like i said i can't go in the kitchen if someone's in there social anxiety and all that jazz i can't do it so it's literally <sighs> if i don't even want to talk to people normally why would i why would i try and spark confrontation <laughs> i've been thinking it a while i just really don't like being here to me it it feels like a cage <laughs> it's like i'm too scared to leave it and i hate being here also i'm getting fat because like i said i can't go in the kitchen so i've just been getting takeaway it's literally making me feel worse because i'm like oh my god i'm getting fat also i'm supposed to have a like group therapy session today but i have a meeting at the exact same time as it so i'm just not fucking going i missed the first one and i felt really bad about it and i was like can you set me up for another one which he did then i missed a session with him emailed him like hey i'm kind of desperate for another session because like i'm fucking suffering and he ignores me <laughs> so if he thinks i'm going to go to a session when he can't even be bothered to email me back then he's got another thing coming so yeah i'm doing that and then i'm going oh that was confusing <laughs> so i'm going to this meeting and she's probably gonna have a go at me for having such shit attendance 
then I'm gonna go to my grandma's house and talk to my mum about moving out. So that's another stress because I wouldn't want to move back to my dad's because he's too far away. So I want to move back home because I'm just sick of this. Plus, I'm moving into a house next year, thank fucking god, with my friend from high school and then some people that I haven't met yet, but they seem nice, <laughs> hopefully. So everything should be okay and I can just sort of exist and not feel like shit. Honestly, I'm just not enjoying this whole uni shit. It's not it's not good. I don't, I don't know where everyone gets the whole It's the best fucking time of my life <laughs> Like my auntie keeps going on about how like it was the best four years of her life and I'm like, can't relate bitch. I'm suffering and then and then they like proper Hound me. Oh, well you must be doing something wrong and I'm like, yes I am doing something wrong. But shut up. I need your moral support and not your hate <laughs> So anyway, I'm gonna get my eyebrows done because or else we're gonna be fucking here forever Considering the accommodation shit that's going on, I'm sure you can imagine that the uni stuff isn't going very well either. I'm still keeping on top of coursework. That's my like, you can't kick me out because I've done my coursework sort of thing. Yeah, I haven't gone in. <laughs> I haven't gone in at all, at all. Uh, the first time I went in was the week we started and that was the last time I went in. <laughs> I'm just, I don't know, I fucking hate learning, man. <laughs> I hate it. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Because the only reason I'm moving in, I think I already said this, but like my friend from high school, it was actually dead nice because I hadn't spoken to her since high school and I posted about how I was starting university again. And she was like, hey, are you in town? And I was like, yes. She was like, so am I. And I was like, let's hang out. And now we're moving in together. See, so that's the thing, if you told me that I was going to be moving in with some, like, like a group of people into a house, I would have been like, <laughs> sure. So yeah, things do work out, I think. But I just think once I'm home, everything will be better. But the thing is, with these accom like this accommodation, they've got a contract, so if, if I leave and they can't find somebody to live here, I will have to pay rent. And I don't get why you can't just... Can you not find someone to move in first and then I'll go? Because I don't really want to move out if nobody's going to be living here anyway. I might as well just stay. Because I'm not fucking paying. <laughs> it just seems stupid that there isn't like a thing to find someone to live here first. Because I can't afford to pay for somewhere I'm not going to be living. And I feel like most people wouldn't be able to. I can barely afford to pay to live here anyway. See, I know nobody like really watches my videos to this point, so I'm just like, is there even any point in saying what makeup I'm using? I mean, if you got this far, thanks, first of all. You know, like if you want to know what I'm using, I'll, I might leave it down below. If I haven't though, just comment down below and I'll add it. Fun. Right, okay, I'm gonna use this freckle tint by Lottie. Lottie London, is it called? Yeah, so this is nice. I enjoy this product purely because it's basically, you know that frack stuff that everybody was like going mental about? It's basically that, but cheaper. <laughs> because for some reason frack is like really expensive. I went to my mum the other day and I pretended that I dropped out of uni. And she was about ready to fucking kill me. <laughs> so there isn't really an option for me to drop out of uni again. Which is a little bit stressful. <laughs> because I don't really want to be here. I mean I know I can't, I know I can't drop out again. I am aware. I just don't want to waste my time again, especially considering I've done all the coursework. Like I said, it'd be different if I hadn't done any of the work, but like I've written essays and fucking lab reports and all sorts. That's a fucking noise and a half. What the fuck? <laughs> I just really think that they big up uni so much more than it deserves. It's like one dickhead had a really good time and he was like, Everybody has a really good time. So then you go to uni expecting to have the best time of your life. You're like, oh my God, I'm gonna make my lifelong friends. I'm going to have the best time of my life. <sighs> Fucking lies, my dude. <laughs> no. Oh, why does this happen to me? How could this happen to me? Okay, it's red, but that's just because. Another thing that I'm like, I really want to move out is because I just want the food, man. I want proper food. I don't want to eat a Big Mac anymore. <laughs> oh my God, my nose is running. 
Does anybody else have that? Every time I do my makeup, my nose starts running. Maybe I'm allergic to something. She's just the wrong person. They don't tell me the real. Okay, so what I was trying to say is I don't want to use my channel to like rant about shit, but sometimes I just need to rant about shit because I get works up very easily. <laughs> that, that's a trait of me. <laughs> Stressed. <laughs> Stressed. I have decided though, I think I have, I'm quite good at talking to people. You know, like if I meet somebody, I'm like, suck my G talk to people but if if i know i'm gonna have to talk to them a lot <laughs> for a long period of time that's when i can't do it it's like when i actually need to talk and make friends that's when i don't oh i have this is see this is this isn't sad i have decided that i really want a giant snail i mean i can't i don't know how i don't know if i've made my love snails very known on here have i but I love snails, they're like my favourite. Minus bears. Bears and snails. <laughs> when I have my own apartment, you know I'm going to be getting a big snail and I'm going to call it Sebastian. <laughs> See, I know that's weird some people. I know like people have weird pets and it's weird. And a big snail is probably one of them. But I saw a fucking Instagram story this morning and it scarred me. <laughs> Somebody had like a beetle. It didn't look like a beetle, it looked like a... You know, like a big grub, a big lava, <laughs> a big lava grub. And it had weird spindly fingers. Oh, oh, <laughs> no. I know he's probably lovely, <laughs> but he wouldn't be um, welcome in my home. There you go. If, you, if you've made it this far, comment down below what pet you want, whether it be weird or not. But if you want a dog, Say what kind of dog, because you can't just say dog. And same with cats. I don't know where this topic's come from, I'm just like going off. <laughs> I have officially worked out that when I'm stressed though, because obviously uni is like really stressful. <laughs> um, when I'm stressed, I eat and I spend money that I don't have. I mean, I have it, but I should be saving it for food. Not got any credit cards. <laughs> Yeah, that's like my deal at the moment. Last night, I think I spent a hundred quid just... So that's why I'm gonna be doing hauls. <laughs> to try and make it feel a little less... Why do I keep fucking up? Stop. To make it feel a bit better. Because I want to get into like a proper routine. Because I'm here like complaining about my skin all the time. And then I'm like, am I gonna fix it? No. Oh, so I've bought quite a few products. Kind of waver in between skincare stuff because... Sometimes I'm like, yes, I will fucking use every product that I can. Like toners, everything. Uh, but recently I've started to lose everything. So I've lost, I recently found my eye cream, but I did lose it. I've lost my toner. I've lost like all my oil stuff. I don't really like using oil stuff because it makes my face feel gross. I don't want to be burning your eyes out with my crusty skin. Why does one side always turn out so much nicer than the other side? honestly offensive. Ugh, what are you gonna do? Uh, it looks a slight tad bit dodgy, but what are we gonna do? Nothing. We're gonna move on. Because we're we'll be here forever. So another new product that I've been using for a few days now is the Morphe eyeliner. And honestly, this is fucking amazing. Like, I'm not very good at putting on eyeliner. I'm not gonna lie. So it's probably gonna go bad, but it just looks like this. It's my ideal <laughs> applicator, I guess. And I like the product because it goes on quite wet, so it's forgiving, I guess, but it dries matte. And I've been having issues so far that I love the way it applies because it's like nice and wet, but then it doesn't like dry. It just looks wet. So this is my shit at the moment because I like it. Okay, so I've done it. It's not, it's not particularly good. I did like a stupid dot there and I don't have the power to try and get rid of it. So <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it. I think it's okay. It's tolerable. Eyeliner's hard, okay. Next, this is actually a first impression. I bought the e.l.f. mascara in, it's, it just says eye enhancing, whatever the fuck that means. So let's hope it enhances my eyes. <laughs> I mean, the packaging's nice. It's like minimal. I don't know if anyone cares about my opinion on this, but yeah, it looks nice. I like it. Ew, I hate that. It looks like there's glitter in my eye and I'm not sure if that's like from the mascara or if it's... 
It genuinely seems to be putting glitter on. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Very weird. Do you see those little like white bits? What the fuck they are? But yeah, anyway, like, because we're nearly done, I'm just gonna say thank you for listening to my run. Um, <laughs> it's good to uh, let a bit of it out. I'm so bad at putting lipstick on, I swear to God. I'm really confused about this mascara. Like, I know we've, we've, we've moved on, we're on lips now, but fuck me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a bit on my hand because I've just looked at my hand and I've spilled a bit on it. Spill. And I can see glitter in it. There is this, this glitter in this mascara. There is. <laughs> I've never been so confused in my life. I literally don't know if you'll be able to see this. There, you see like the little... That's from the mascara. How weird. I'm very confused. You see like the little speckles of glitter? Huh. And there I thought I was going mad. I can s like that, what? How, how weird? Oh, I'm exposing my eyeliner right now. Don't look, anyway. I'm just gonna put a bit of this in the middle, I think. I think we're done. Oh wait, so another first impression sort of thing. I bought the Jeffree Star X Morphe finishing spray. I have smelt this before and it, it smells so nice, like, I just like it. I was really confused when I first got this because I'm used to like spritzing, but obviously this comes out like just, <laughs> which is actually amazing for me. So I was like, just holding it and I was like, is this, is this right? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna. I feel like if you're doing it on YouTube, you have to put too much on. <laughs> if you're not putting too much on, you're not doing it right. So anyway, this is my finished look. I'm now gonna go out to my appointment and then to my grandma's. I'm so excited. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for listening to me rant just about uni and stuff. Obviously, if I do move out, there will be like a moving out, I guess, vlog, vlog, little video thing. So. You know, keep an eye out for that because that will be, that will tell all. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. <laughs> I will see you in the next video, uh, which will probably be a bit more of a fun video rather than a get ready with me, but I'm actually really happy with my makeup. I mean, I think it looks a bit better in the camera than it does in real life, but yeah, it definitely does. So yeah, this is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, I appreciate it. And even a comment, uh, that would be nice. <laughs> Also, uh, I know there's literally no point in saying this at the end of the video, but if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. Also, look at my really nice jumper, I love it. Sorry, I'm just going off on one now, because I just, I just, I love this jumper. I keep forgetting I own it, and it's really nice. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's it. Set off for my meeting. I don't know if you can hear me, but uh, my meeting's tomorrow, so I'm going to my grandma's. I'm going to my grandma's now. Um, so yeah, I got ready for no reason, really, so, you know. Classic Hannah.